All right, coming up in about uh, a little over six hours now will be the Crown Jewel show. And they've got a pre-show match they announced, and that is Usos versus Shelton and Cedric for the... uh, Actually, it's a non-title match here on the pre-show. Yeah. So at that point, you've got nine other matches on the show. I think it's just, uh, you know, since the Usos are going over, probably to get involved in the Reigns match, kind of like the idea is is that... uh, you know, since they're already there, they might as well wrestle. We've got the two tournament finals, Finn Balor and Xavier Woods and Selena Vega and Dewdrop. We've got Mansoor and Mustafa Ali. we got the RK Bro, AJ Styles and Omos match. Edge versus Seth Rollins, Hell in a Cell. Goldberg and Bobby Lashley, No Holds Barred. Big E versus Drew McIntyre for the WWE title. Becky, Bianca, and Sasha, triple threat for the SmackDown women's title. And Roman Reigns versus Brock Lesnar with Paul Heyman vowing that he will leave with the WWE Universal Champion. Yeah. Interesting. The, um, I mean, the main event, from all I gather, is designed to be the beginning of the story, not the end. Um, this match is going to be... I mean, they know. They don't have... They don't have anyone ready for Reigns, and, you know, Brock's going to be around. Brock's... We know Brock's going to be at the Rumble. We know Brock's going to be at WrestleMania. Um... I don't know if that means you know he went you know how how they how they formulate this. I don't know how the program's going to go, but uh, it's. I think the thing is, is if Brock doesn't win, and I don't think he will because I have not heard Brock at Survivor Series. Uh, although obviously that can change, but if um, if Brock's not going to win, I don't think we get. I mean. I don't think we're getting a clean finish. I think we're getting the Usos involved in one of those matches. And, uh, you know, as far as it's going to be tough because Saudi atmosphere makes it difficult to have a great match. The crowd's not going to be into it at that level, at least, or at least it's not in the past. Uh, but it's a good lineup. I mean, it's, I mean, I won't say from a wrestling standpoint, it's the strongest lineup of the year, but from a star standpoint, it is the strongest lineup for any, for any card of this year. I mean, when you look at, you got, you know, Edge in a match and Bill Goldberg and Brock Lesnar and um, the three-way women's match is a real big match for star power. So, um, I don't know. I mean, I don't know that there's ever been a really good Saudi Arabia show, but maybe this will be the first. We'll see. I mean, and and most of them have been terrible, actually. Um, So, we'll see. Undertaker is in Saudi Arabia. Yeah, he's there. So Monday, okay, the the Arab News had a story about the rumor that Undertaker was coming. And uh, I guess with WWE, you know, it's some, a lot of times the right hand doesn't know what the left hand's doing. So like, I asked, it's like, is this legit? And it was, I was told, like, like, there's a video, and the video is from 2019. And so it was, like, supposed to be a false alarm. And then here we are. He went. Um it's interesting too that that there's uh you know so many different flights there. I mean there's the flight with all the talent and Undertaker and Brock and Vince and his crew and Roman Reigns and um I think there's is there anyone else um No, I think that that's it. Brock, yeah, it's all have their own private planes which I'm presuming that Saudi is paying for because I know they did with Brock in the past, and it's a lot of money for a special plane for one guy or one one or two guys, and uh, yeah. So if there's anything, any problems, any mechanical failures, um, that group of people will not be suffering from that. So then it's a big, quick turnaround because they got Thursday morning in, uh, you know in Saudi Arabia and Friday night in Wichita, Kansas. Oh my God. It's not like it's like, it's not like it's somewhere on the coast. It's Wichita, Kansas, like the middle of the country. They got to do a show with Roman Reigns. Obviously he's got to be there. You know, the top guys in SmackDown. And it's also the first show where the draft is in play in the sense that, you know, the people that were drafted to raw will not be on this show. And it'll be, you know, so Sharp Flair will be there. And um, it's the new, the first show with the new rosters, uh, the Friday night show. So um, we'll be, there will be some very tired people because that is a long ass flight. It's a long flight to get there. 
and, 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 and well an even longer flight to get there because they were flying out of Sacramento to, you know the crew flew out of Sacramento and then that's a lot you fly from Sacramento to Saudi Arabia and then Saudi Arabia to Wichita Kansas and I don't know if there's direct flights for uh, Saudi Arabia to Wichita Kansas so they may have to stop somewhere probably London I know London was where they stopped on the way there so um, yeah a real long real long day um, but there you go but yeah so uh, Undertaker's there so he'll probably be I mean probably be at the show in some form hey if you're a big fan of Wrestling Observer Radio we got 12,000 episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website wrestlingobserver.com if you sign up today, you get access to every single one of them. The 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week. You can podcast them, listen to them on the road, at work, working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts. And also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com. 12,000 audio shows at your fingertips.